love story it's ever here okay so as you can hear my birds are chirping again um i did find a way to charge my camera up last night so it is no big deal if i have this place a charger that came with the camera so that's a relief i don't have to fork out for a new charger or oh, that i've lost the charger um but yeah i still think i've left it at uni because it's good right, if i've got the proper charger but i'm on my way to uni now i'm just in for a taxi because i've not overslept but i've missed the buzz um so yeah i'm just in for a taxi now okay so i'm in uni now and i just been having some breakfast and it doesn't look like the effects open today so i'm like no i'm really hungry <laughs> these are under heat to eat um so i might just go see if i can get something from on the machines or something um i'm not sure what we're doing in class today um hopefully we're doing something where i can record something and show you what i'm actually doing <laughs> um but yeah and then i have a ptsd class this afternoon and then i'm free for the whole day um and i'm off tomorrow so yeah but i'm so tired today i don't know why well i didn't have a best night's sleep last night um but you know i i don't know why i'm so tired uh seems to be every thursday i'm so tired um like last week i was starting a ptsd class and they must have thought i was on something i've been drinking because i've just falling asleep in the class and I'm just like oh god if, it, if the screen freezes and my eyes close off my eyes kind of like look funny it's gonna not gonna look good um but yeah um I just kind of like uh got back this afternoon and then I don't know um I'll fit and see okay so unfortunately we wasn't able to record anything or do any of the um, things we have planned um can't really go into why but um it's been a bit of a crazy day <laughs> here at uni um i'm just waiting for my ptsd course to start and then yeah um i'll be heading home um i might talk a little bit about the ptsd course i can't record it I'll do anything like that um, we're not allowed but I can talk a little bit about my, my experience with it well not the course but PTSD itself okay so I've just finished the PTSD class and I don't know why but after a PTSD class I always feel so tired just so drained Um, we don't really talk um, and it's a group session and it's advised for us not to share experiences because it might trigger other people which is really understandable but I just feel so tired and I always feel bad because I get to a point in my eyes like I'm like god they must think I'm on something I've been drinking because I just have so it, it just feels like I'm everything's been sucked out of me and I'm not even talking about the things I've experienced or the things that's happened to me and nobody else is and it is it, it's a weird it's so weird because I'm you no know, I said I've not really had a good night's sleep last night um but yeah it's I don't know I just kind of feel so drained after each session um but yeah okay so i didn't get too much more filming today um it's been a bit of a crazy evening um my mum's been sick ill again um got uti again um so i've been on the phone most of the afternoon trying to sort a doctor out uh finally got one and I should go pick some up by office up tomorrow. Uh, but when I came home from uni, um, I had a parcel waiting for me. Um, it's my monthly t-shirt, well sweatshirt, because 
I moved on from the um, t-shirts because I wear sweatshirts more than t-shirts. But I just thought I'd do a quick um, opening on this and it is a Better Call Mall. It's a spin on, um, I think there was a TV show which is a spin off of Breaking Bad called Better Call Saul. And it's Darth Maul, this one is Darth Maul from Star Wars and it's like an Eternian Law Have Your Revenge and um, that's pretty cool, I like it, it's really funny um, but yeah, like I said my mum, she was taken ill again and this is what <laughs> she was ill in December um, she had a UTI and Tic Tac, what are you doing? My uncle's little dog um, playing with my hamsters. Um, she had a UTI in December, beginning of December, um, I think like, like the first of December or something like that because me and my uncle put the Christmas tree up. And then today she just started off again. Um, my uncle went shopping, and obviously he just turned around and said, "Like, oh, um, when your uncle and our Terence get to you." Now Terence is my dad's cousin on his side. Um, so Terence is like my second. <coughs> <laughs> cousin, something like that. Um, and she was like, "When you want to come to get you, we can have a party." I'm like, wait, what? And she was like, "Yeah, when we get back, we can have a party." I'm like, "Ooh, She's like you want to call her an our Terence?" I'm like, "No, what?" And she was adamant that my uncle was with Terence, and yeah. It was just, when she gets like this, like, um, she doesn't understand how much it upsets me because it is very, it's just almost as if she has Alzheimer's or dementia and it is scary because you can't get through to her what she's saying or because she's adamant that is what is happening and um, yeah it's just so hard to put into words because it's just strange that uh, you, you don't know what she's going on about I mean like it cannot say to you today because I was sat here and then she just turned around and said oh it's midnight coming for what time is midnight coming for you tomorrow I'm like what? Is that? What time is midnight coming for you? I'm like, midnight's not coming for me. It's, it's like, here we are. Um, midnight's coming for you tomorrow. No, I, I'm at you tomorrow. Um, me and midnight, I haven't got any plans to meet up till February. Unless something comes up where we do meet up before then. And she's, she's like, no, midnight's coming for you tomorrow. I'm like, no, they're not. Honestly, they're not. Uh, I'm at uni tomorrow, so they can't come pick me up. <sighs> so it is kind of like, as much as I would love to see midnight right now, um, they aren't going to come and pick me up. Um, we have no plans to meet up today, tomorrow. Um, like I said, probably the next time we do meet up, it's going to be uh, LFCC Spring. Or gonna meet up at maybe the Star Trek uh, meet when that happens in February um, but until then nothing's planned um, so it is frustrating because my mom just thinks that what is happening is happening and um, that is just the frustra frustrating part of it that like you cannot get through to her um, but yeah, um, it'll all work out. I'm going to go get some antibiotics tomorrow and she should be fine. 
But anyway, for now, I'm going to say love you lots, lots, like jelly tots. And I'll keep you looking weird. Bye. See ya.